Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a Zala hair extension review. Um, I recently picked these up and I just thought it would be fun to review them with you guys and show you how I get my hair extensions ready and everything like that. This video is not sponsored. I paid, with it, paid for this with my own money. Um, yeah, so I just thought we'd dive in. So my hair now um, is a blonde. I have coarse have like the dark up here um, and it does have a little bit more of an ash color to it I use a blue shampoo to tone it regularly so the hair color that I picked out is champagne blonde I got the 20 inch clip in nine piece set um, this is the color of the hair so it is pretty darn close to my own um, probably about as close as I'm gonna get with a hair extension um, I am gonna show you these what they looked like fresh out the bag Okay, so I did just want to shoot it in natural lighting so you guys can really see the color of the hair. So it comes in a box. Um, it does come wrapped up in the plastic piece and then the extensions come in here. So I just wanted to lay that all out. And this is what this color looks like in just natural lighting. So it's got um, the browns and the blondes all weaved through it. It's really, really, really soft. So. This is what it's gonna look like. Um, I am going to wash it before I put it in, just because um, I have learned that trick. As you guys know, I am huge with hair, and to just make it more natural, I do wash it and let it air dry first. Um, reasoning behind that is because my natural hair is not this silky. God, we wish she was, but it's not. My hair is doing all types of things all the time, so. If you wash your hair extensions first and you let them air dry, of course, color match them first. Um, that is one of the ways that they will look a lot more natural in your hair. Unless, of course, you have fabulous straight silky hair, then you do you. Um, and then this is the inside of the box. So it comes with um, some hair products, which is really, really cool. And it also comes with an extension how-to. So if you are new to hair extensions, um, they show you how to do um, your clip-ins. They also show you how to do um, the ponytail one and the tape-ins. So this is a box for all different styles. I do have the clip-ins and they give you some extra clips as well, which I think is really, really cool. Um, it also does have a protective warning seal. So if you order the wrong color, um, just don't remove this. You can hold it up to your hair and then you can exchange it out. Now they don't do full refunds. You can only get store credit, um, but this is pretty much the color of my hair. I am gonna probably throw some blue shampoo in this just so that it is a little bit more cooler toned because I do use blue shampoo on my natural hair. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And this is with flash as well. So the flash does add more of like a yellow tone to it because phone flash has that, but I just thought you guys might wanna see it up close. So see how you can really see all the different layers in the hair color. It is stunning. This is one of the best blonde clip-in hair extensions I've seen. Um, and then the wefts, I'm gonna show you up close right now too before I start washing them. So thin. So these ones remind me of my Glam Seamless tape and extensions because they are so, so thin. So they're gonna lay really, really flat on to the head, which is gonna be great. You're gonna be able to style it really, really easily. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. Lastly, I wanted to show you how many wefts you get. So I did get the larger pack because my hair is so thick. So this is everything um, laid out. So you do get, um, these ones and then these and then i think this is really smart so you get just the one which would even be nice for my natural hair to just clip these in the front and cut them shorter for when i'm not wearing extensions to um, fix the shorter pieces in my hair from the whole process of going blonde that i've broken off but you get quite a bit and then this is them all laid out just flat next to each other sometimes when i'm shopping hair extensions i like to see that as well um just so i can really see like how much hair you're getting so this is how much you get in the larger set um and then each weft does feel pretty thick which i appreciate because my hair is thick af so hopefully this is enough um again this is with the flash so my flash is pulling it a little bit more yellow i'm just using my phone to film this piece so, um, but yeah.
So as you can see, they are just so, so silky. Now, um, to get my hair extensions ready, I like to wash them ahead of time. The reason for that is my hair is very coarse. It is not silky straight like how they are when they first come out the package. So I do recommend to wash your hair extensions first, let them air dry, um, and then that's what we have right now. So um, they're it's still very, very silky, but they're gonna have um, just a little bit more fluffiness to them and blend with the natural hair a lot better. I did wash them with my blue shampoo so that they would have just a little bit more of that blue tone to them um, and then I just use my uh, grow strong conditioner on them so I'll show you that real quick and then what I do is I just lay them all out individually I put them on a towel they're in front of my fireplace right now so they're gonna grab a little bit of heat and air dry a little bit faster you do want to make sure that you let them air dry if you are constantly blow drying your extensions they can get um, just really rough and broken. If you have to blow dry them every once in a while, you totally can, low heat, um, because these are human hair extensions, um, but just laying them out is the best thing. Um, so yeah, now it is time to officially dive in, and I am so excited. Um, I'm gonna do my hair curled. I have my Duval curling wand chilling over there. Um, I just feel like when the hair is curled, it matches the, you can blend your hair a lot better because again, these are 20 inch extensions. So they're gonna go to about right here. And of course my natural hair is quite short. So the first thing that I like to do is part it at the nape of the neck so that we can start one here. And I like to just twist my hair up and you can either use a clip, um, some sort of hair tie, anything like that. So this is about how much hair I have back. I have it right here. And I am gonna find a piece of the hair that is gonna fit that area. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, of course I got them all together. So I'm thinking it's about this area. Um, you don't even need to brush through. These are literally so silky, I can't even believe it. So one thing I do wanna show again is like how thin these are. Um, I used to use Bellamy hair extensions forever and definitely no shade to Bellamy. I love my Bellamy hair extensions. Those were last through the, anything. Um, but these seem like they're gonna be a little bit better just because of how thin they are. So then you're gonna go up to the top. Now, if you have more thin, silky hair, what I would recommend is actually to um, tease this in your hair. I actually need a slightly larger section. So slightly tease your hair and then um, go in to clip in your hair extensions and it'll probably stay a little bit better that way. Just a, a little tip. I'm gonna actually go in with the one that has the four across. I grabbed a little bit more hair section than I realized I did, which is fine. Um, so I think this is gonna work best for this section, especially starting it off. So I am going to just clip this in then I'm not teasing my hair because my hair is so, so thick, it will, it'll stick. So um, this is the first section just put in. And then I do, so it blends with my hair really, really well. And then what we're gonna do is once we get everything in, depending on how much of this still shows, what I'm gonna do is take a small clear rubber band and we're gonna just twist it underneath the hair. You won't see it, but um, it will hide that. So then this will just kind of show through and it'll look a lot more natural. So now let's clip in the second section. So, and I'm gonna show you guys all of this in real time. Um, if you don't wanna watch it in real time, feel free to speed it up. But this is just, so if you are putting these in for the first time and you need a legit tutorial, here we go. So now you're gonna feel where that section was and you're gonna section right above that one. And make sure this one is not too, too large of a section. You want them to be pretty layered through. Oh my God, my hair is so soft because I just washed it. It does not, oh my gosh, let's see. Let me see, that should be good. Adding that hair up and I'm gonna go in with the same size hair section with the four clips and Make sure that all these are open and just kind of sticking it in. And then I just like to bring the sections forward because it's just easier for me to kind of see um, where we're at with everything. So we're just gonna bring the next one down. And again, we're gonna blend 
all this together, so don't freak out. I just, I have very short hair, and this is the reality for all of us who have short hair, but we want hair extensions. All right, so now we're looking, I have this section down. Oh my gosh, let me make sure that my sections back here are even. Um, and then I haven't really worn um, hair extensions on my channel, but I do, I, I used to wear hair extensions literally all the time. So I'm quite familiar with them in case you guys are curious at all or anything like that. So now we are going to put this one in. And bring this top section down. This is kind of where we're at so far. So now we are going to start putting in those front pieces. So what I like to do is figure out something maybe about right here and flip this piece of hair over and I'm gonna stick this one right in here and section a little bit more if we need to. And then next, we're gonna section some sides over here. Making sure that it's nice and flat. And I'm gonna put another one of these right in through here. These are laying so nice and flat, wow. See, now it's starting to come together a little bit more. And then you wanna make sure that you are not forgetting about the back of your hair. So I am going to lift up the back of my hair and I am going to put a smaller one right back in here. One of these two clip ones. And then I'm going to put another one right in here of these smaller clips, putting it pretty close. That's what I like about this is these are so small that you can really just put them right there and it's going to help blend. This is crazy. Um, and then we're going to do another one right here. And these are just those little teeny teeny ones that are just going to help blend it through a little bit better. So this is kind of where we're at. This one I need to put in a little bit better. So I am thoroughly impressed. I feel like these ones I could even wear them straight if I wanted to. Um, what I do think is important is to always make sure you have some of your hair behind you because I feel like too many people, they take all their hair extensions, they cut it in half, they bring it all forward and it just looks crazy. But um, I mean, this is it literally not even straightening it and I feel like it looks really, really good. Um, it blends in with all of my, like my shorter hair just looks like layers. Wow, okay, so um, see those bottom pieces? That's what I am talking about when I say we're gonna tie those up. So the first thing we are gonna do is find that bottom piece of hair. So hard to do this and film at the same time. So you're gonna grab that bottom portion of hair and you wanna make sure that none of the hair extension is in it. And let me see if I can like flip my hair over, there we go. So I have this small portion. So I'm gonna grab a clear rubber band and Get it stretched out. And underneath here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist my hair. Maybe I'll twist it and then pick up that rubber band. So twisting, I wish I could show you guys this a little bit better. So twisting this bottom portion of hair and you're gonna create like a little bun almost underneath everything and believe me, you will not see it. So just kind of Voila. So now that is underneath and when you pull your hair forward, 
to show you guys all of it. For example, you can't see it. I mean, I missed a piece, but we'll forgive that. But see, so then it starts looking a heck of a lot more natural. So that's um, a really a key thing. Oh no, that one I didn't put very well, did I? It's okay, we'll blend it through. There we go. And it's definitely about playing all around with it. Um, I have not put hair extensions in, oh my gosh, in forever. So sometimes you might have to play around with it. Like I realized that I put this up a little bit too high. So um, sometimes it is a trial and error, but. Okay, so now that that is secure underneath, so yeah, this just looks a lot more natural. Um, I'm still great. I cannot believe this color matches this well. So now I'm gonna just start wanding out my hair. Um, I do like to leave the ends pretty straight. Um, and then just curl out small pieces. So we are gonna first start with the front and just kind of wrapping it like this, but leaving a good amount out so that it's just gonna be more of a loose curl. And just holding. Kind of so it's gonna look really pretty with the end straight once we brush it all out and then really just going around and just grabbing everything and taking your time this is what it is looking like I think it blends amazing what do you guys think you tell me um, yeah, I think one thing that really helps is really just that one thing where I flip the hair underneath, but yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so now for the like review portion of this, I'm obsessed. Um, I feel like they lay so flat, like you cannot tell that I'm wearing hair extensions. Um, this color, I'm still tripped out about how well it like matches my hair. I mean, of course I'm gonna have like shorter curls and stuff, but that they look kind of just like layers. I am so impressed. If you guys have been curious about Zala hair extensions, I definitely say go for it. They are definitely shy approved. Um, and then one thing I didn't mention either is they had different packs too. So if your hair is really thin, they did have like, I think it was like a five clip pack. I got the nine clip pack because my hair is very, very thick. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, Yay! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because uh, I used to have long hair and then I cut it and then I was growing it out and then I cut it again and then I'm just like, oh my god, I really missed my long hair. So this is awesome and it was really easy to do overall. Um, it didn't really take that long. They curl really, really easily. Now, hopefully they will stay curled throughout the day today. Um, they had many different colors too, but again, this is champagne blonde and I did wash it with blue shampoo, so this is not the exact color. This is going to be a little bit ashier than what comes to you um, but I will link the blue shampoo down below that I use and I'll link these two in case you guys are curious and then my curling wand is from Duval I have a code with them it's shy 70 or shy both work I don't know why but um, they're both under me but anyways it gets you 70% off of all Duval tools I see no money from that it is just a code for you guys to save some coin. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got some tips or enjoyed it. Ask me any questions you want in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Bye.